In this video, you're going to learn how to add auto role functionality to your Discord bot. This is a multi server feature, which means server owners can configure your bot to allow this functionality for their own Discord server. We'll split this video into three parts. First, we'll set up the auto role schema. Then we'll create the commands to configure and disable the auto roll feature. Then finally, we'll set up the event, which will handle the process of giving roles to users when they join the server. So let's get into our code editor. And if you guys are new around here and want to know how I created a command and event handler like this, I'll have that video linked down below. And if you guys are completely new to Discord bot development, I'll also have a playlist linked down below where we start bot development from scratch. So anyway, let's get started by creating a new schema for this feature inside our models folder. I'm going to call this file autoroll.js. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to import mongoose. So let's say const require mongoose. And from mongoose, we're going to import schema and model. Now we're going to define the auto roll schema and we're going to set this to a new schema. Inside our schema, the first thing that we're going to add is the guild ID. This is going to have a type of string. Required is going to be true and unique is also going to be true, which means one server can only set up auto role once using our bot. We'll also add a role ID and we're going to set this to type string and required to true. Finally, we can export the schema. So let's say module.exports and we're going to export it using the model function. And the first argument is the name of this model. So we're going to call this auto role. And the second argument is the auto role schema itself. Once that is done, we can save the file and we can now create the commands to configure and disable the auto role feature. So inside the commands folder, I'm going to create a new folder called admin. And the first file that I'm going to create is auto role configurejs This file, as usual, is going to export an object. And this object is first of all going to have the name, which is auto role dash configure. We're also going to add a description, which is configure your auto role for this server. The next thing that we're going to do is add options and options is an array of objects. And we really only need one option, which is going to be the target role itself, or you can just call it role. The description is going to be the role you want users to get on join. And finally, we're also going to have to add the type. Now to add the type, I'm going to import something from Discord JS. And this is application command option type. I can now use this inside the type and set the type to role. Required is also true because we want the role to be provided every time the person runs this command. Finally, we'll add the callback function at the top. This function will have client and interaction as the parameters. And this next part is optional, but since we don't have IntelliSense for both of these parameters, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import client and interaction from Discord JS. And right before the callback function, I can type forward slash double asterisk and hit enter. Now I can set the client parameter to client from Discord JS, and I can do the same for interaction. Now inside our callback function, if I do interaction dot, I'll have IntelliSense and the same for client. Anyway, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to check if this command is being executed inside a server. So we're going to say if not interaction dot in guild. In that case, we're going to interaction dot reply and we're going to tell the user you can only run this command inside a server and then we're going to return. After this, we're going to get our role and we're going to define this as target role ID. And this is going to be interaction.options.get and we're going to get the role and we're going to get the value from it. Now I'm going to add the try catch blocks because we're going to be making calls to our database. And to make calls to our database, I'm going to import the auto role schema from the models folder. So let's say const auto role equals require. And then we'll go up two levels to our models folder. And from there, we're going to import auto role. Inside our try block, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to send a deferred reply. So let's say await interaction dot defer reply. And because we're using await, this function must be asynchronous. After this, let's get the auto role. So let's say let auto role equals await auto role dot find one. And basically what we're going to do here is we're going to check 
if an auto role document already exists in the database. If it does, then we're going to update that existing document. So we're going to query it using the guild ID. And the guild ID in this case is the interaction.guild.id. Now let's use an if statement to check if the auto role document exists. If it does, then we're going to check if the auto role ID that the user provided matches the ID that is already stored in the database. So we're going to say if auto role dot role ID exactly equals to target role ID. In that case, we're going to interaction dot edit reply. And then we're going to say auto role has already been configured for that role to disable run. And then we're going to provide the command, which is auto role dash disable. Of course, we're going to configure this command in just a moment. After this, we're going to return and outside this if statement, if this is not true, then what we can do is we can just set the auto role dot role ID to the target role ID. However, if this auto role document does not exist, I can add the else statement. And inside what we're going to do is we're going to set auto role to a new auto role document. And in this case, the guild ID is going to be interaction dot guild dot ID. And the role ID is going to be the target role. And right outside this else statement, what we can do is we can say await auto role dot save. Finally, we'll edit our reply and say auto role has now been configured to disable run. And of course, we're going to put that disable command over here as well. Now, one thing that I forgot to do was add the permissions that is required to run this command. So we're going to add this right here. Now to add to this permissions required array, I'm going to import permission flag bits from discord JS. And down here, I'm going to add permission flag bits dot. And I only want administrators to be able to run this command. Now to give out the roles, our bot must also have enough permissions. So I'm going to say bot permissions. So in this array, I'm going to add permission flag bits dot manage roles. I believe this is the permission that is required to actually give roles. So let's just go ahead and save this file. And now we're going to create a new command called auto role dash disable.js. This file will also have a similar structure. So I'm just going to require discord JS. And from discord JS, I'm going to import client interaction permission flag bits. And then I'm also going to import the schema. So const auto role equals require. And then I'm going to go up two levels to the models folder and import auto role. And then we're going to export an object. This object has the name, which is auto role dash disable. The description is going to be disable auto role in the server. We don't really need options, so we can add the permissions required, which again, I only want administrators to be able to run this command. And our bot doesn't really need any permissions because we're disabling this functionality completely. Right above name, I'm going to add the callback function, which is going to be asynchronous and will have client and interaction as its parameters. And just like before, I'm going to add this piece of code, which gives us more intelligence inside our function. So inside this function, we're going to add a try catch block. And inside the catch, we're going to console log the error. And inside the try block, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to send a deferred reply. So let's say await interaction dot defer reply. Now, the thing that we're going to do is we're going to check if auto role was already configured for the server. The way we can do that is we're going to check if a document exists with the guild ID. So let's say if not, and I'm going to add await auto role dot exists, and this will return a Boolean. And inside, we're going to add our query, which is guild ID. And the guild ID is interaction dot guild dot ID. Now, if this returns false, which means there is no document with a guild ID of interaction guild ID. In that case, we're going to reply. So interaction dot edit reply. And then we're going to say auto role has not been configured for the server. Use auto role dash configure to set it up. Finally, make sure to return so the function does not execute any further. After this if statement, we can go ahead and delete that document from the database. So let's say await auto role dot find one and delete. And we're going to pass in the query, which is guild ID and interaction guild ID. After this, we're going to reply. So interaction dot edit reply. And we're going to say auto role has been disabled for the server. Use auto role configure to set it up again. That is enough for this command. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the event listener. 
So inside our events folder, I'm going to create a new folder called guild member add. And this is the event that gets triggered whenever a new member joins the server. Inside this folder, I'm going to create a file called auto role.js. And this file will export a function which will have access to client and the member who joined the server. Again, I have gone ahead and added this piece of code, which is going to give me IntelliSense. And in this function, since we have member instead of interaction, I've gone ahead and used guild member from Discord.js. Anyway, we also need access to the model. So let's go ahead and import that from the models folder. Now inside our function, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a try catch block. And if there's an error, I'm just going to console log and say error giving role automatically. And then I'm going to pass the error. Now inside try, what we're going to do is we're going to first define the guild. Because if you remember, we store the guild ID. So that's what we're going to use to find it. So inside try, we're going to say let guild equals member dot guild. Now let's say if not guild, we're just going to return. Now what we want to do is we want to get that auto role document from the database. So we can say const auto role equals auto role dot find one inside. We're going to query using the guild ID. And in this case, the guild ID is from this guild. So let's say guild dot ID. Now, if there's no document matching this guild ID, we can go ahead and say if not auto role. In that case, we can also return. Next, I'm going to say await member dot roles dot add. And in this case, we're going to add a role to the member. And inside, we're going to pass in the auto role dot role ID. Oh, and I just realized I forgot to put a weight over here as well. And because we're using a weight in two different places, this function has to be asynchronous. Let's now save this file. And now we can go ahead and configure this inside the server. So let's go ahead and take our bot online. I'm going to use nodemon. However, you can directly use node as well. So both the commands have been registered. And now we can go to discord. Now inside my server, I'm going to go ahead and run the command slash auto role dash configure. And then I'm going to pass in the role, let's say green. It says auto role has now been configured to disable run slash auto role disable. So I've now asked my friend to join the server and let's see if he gets the role. So my friend just joined and he got the green role. Now let's try to disable this and let's see if it works. So I'm going to kick him again. Now, when he joined again, he did not get any role because we've completely disabled it. Anyway, if this video helped you out, make sure to give it a like. And if you guys are having any issues, make sure to join my Discord server and I'll help you out from here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.